to be for uh, Sofa Parker. Now you'll have to watch out uh, in the midfield. My hunch is that uh, the team that will be successful here will be a team that adapts to a formation that may get the better of the midfielders. In this case, for the Leopard side, how they will get the better of uh, Collins or Koth. And for the Sofa Parker side, whether or not they'll be able to deal with Paul Ware in it. Uh, uh, one positions uh, as far as positions are concerned his team when you look at his bench he has uh, what, uh, some of the top players in the Kenya Premier League and he, he spent big really to acquire that and he's expecting a rewards from the South Park side well I think uh, both teams are shy to attack uh, it's only when uh, uh, where he has the ball that you see uh, some kind of creativity he goes through two three players and actually but started again from their half with Idris Rajab pushing it back to Martini Balabala. I think the analysts had it quite right that uh, it may pan out to be what Martini, I can assure you, as of Eugene Sika there. He knew that any blunder in that box would result into something totally different. Seven blue and white shots in the box. And rising up for the header is uh, the last man, Jordan. Uh, and it's going to be a goal kick for the Sofa Parker side. Back to their defenders. It's looking like Sofa Parker has decided to reorganize themselves and are pushing forward now. Well, what would have looked like an easy way of dealing with the ball is lost and Sofa Parker have lost it. And Action Airports get the fight. And I, I think we must be preparing for it. Themselves. Well, there it is. Oh, it's a new one. It's not the one. A huge FC Airports. Uh, this bird is probably the most famous East African player, Jacob. Well, that is McDonald Mariga, who turns out for Inter won the Scottish League with Celtic FC, and uh, the goings on uh, that he might be headed to. Scoring from the FC Leopard side, he played for the side before. It's Eugenio Sike who pushes it forward. John Barraza looking for a chance to just touch it. And quick action, gets the ball off the field of touch from him. So Jonas Daibana well, does well to use his height and then look get himself to get the ball out of John Barraza's feet. Well, good piece of defending here but by Nahimana. He knew that uh, with entire 90 minutes, if he continued playing like this. Well, I am not sure why Jonas uh, Nahimana did not decide to go for the header. He probably had the sun in his eye of players that uh, the Leopards have. The bench has Mike Barraza, Abel Bushiri, Victor Chek, Laurent Tumba, Oscar Kadenge, Robert Siongo, and Barabas Tieba. Players who can actually take on a first team on their own with good experience as well. So I would have suggested that he's good on aerial balls as well. So nil nil in their first match of the Kenyan Premier League. Madhari, look. This is Jonas Lahimana. In the midfield, he should be playing as a last one. This is Uma. Let's <laughs> practice a dance before uh, the game because they don't know when they're going to score. Going out on a left foot cross. It's very hard work coming from a youngster like that one. Jamal Mohamed. A magnificent effective. But here's a good cutback by Benjamin Chaka. Get out of the field of play for a throw in. Very slowly here, but uh, losing possession immediately. Well, Nahimana forced to clear off uh, out on the left, then lifts it into the box. Matasi was already coming off his line. Story might tell you for the, for the second half, most likely. Well, the Leopards making a little bit of mistakes. Uh, better ball control by Paul Bugai. And they try to set keeper. Kalamadola has pushed it back into play. It's not yet complete. And a dollar. That's a dollar, that save, isn't it, Jacob? <laughs> that would be like a hundred dollars. AFC Lop has the chance to go ahead in this one. The header was from the time. This was out on the left. And uh, Nahimana. The biggest win for the KCB side was a 4-0 uh, win, Jacob. <laughs> well, they beat uh, City Stars so languish at the bottom of the log at number six. Field as well is not feeding the two strikers because there's seven Kinja and uh, Charles Akwemba. And I think Balambala comes in to assist as well. But uh, the absence of eight pounds, that's a different story. Well, the Leopards are under siege here, whether they look it or not. 
<laughs> Defense ultimately pushing it forward from their line. Nahimana with his height, it's onto it. Oh, and his darting runs ultimately cut off by. Uh, has gotten the benefit of a foul this side 15 goal attempts for the leopard side would tell you that they've uh, and ultimately it's nahimana that is pushed back like it's going to be a battle of the midfield uh, and even just the benching on of, of uh, some of the players on the fc with the surprise turn seeing him in the leopards well i think it all depends on uh, his contact uh, left flank well Fielding seems to have been sorted out for the Leopard side. The initial problem was said to have been fielding. And twice or three times, or probably more than that, they have been accused of having five. I've seen him really make so many out of the heading situation there. And I'm not surprised that uh, he could. They seem to have the midfield control as well. But it's not turning into passes up front or shots at all. Well, I tell you what, Bernard. Leopards have the right kind of combination in that midfield. The only thing that they don't have the kind of. Big run again, trying to get to uh, Edo Kagwanda. With tight backing from uh, Jonas Nahimana. Ticker to deal with the onslaught. Well, Gwanda seemingly having had a knock. And uh, Nahimana seems to know exactly where it was. And uh, lends. Uh, well, he would know because he was involved in that tackle that got him down, wasn't he? <laughs> he took the tumble first. But obviously he will be penalized for it. The freaking take it. 